Welcome back. We are bang in the middle of autumn, so it's perfect soup weather out there. Especially today, Charlotte the chef joins us and he has a... a, a Pardon? <laughs> Charlotte the chef? Who's Charlo? Charlo it's it's Charlo. It's because we were talking about Paris. We were talking about Paris, yeah, yeah. the fact that we've never well, look, been. Charlo's here been. and we're making soup. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Charlo. Good morning, Charlo. Good chef. So good morning to you, folks. Hope and you've never been to Paris either. So the just to you both go. We were saying we should be sent by Arden the M. Under the Eiffel Tower, a little cooking station. Yeah. Cooking spice burgers. <laughs> nice bowl of loop de loop. Huh? Okay. We'll be lucky to get out alive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the pitch is going to work. Okay, we've got some what nice, uh, nice butternut squash, thyme, and um, honey soup. Really nice, comforting soup for obviously it's, it's soup season, isn't it? Folks? Very autumnal. And we're banging yes. into the squash, squash season as well with the pumpkins. Because I was in the local supermarket the other day, and they've got like white pumpkins, oh, yeah. red or orange pumpkins, Beautiful. blue pumpkins. P fantastic. So butternut squash soup, and then we're going to make an amazing treacle bread that you've already tasted. And well, it really is Laura sensational. Has, yeah, can't wait. To what we it. need for the soup? We need some butternut squash. We need then like a soup base, we call it a soup base with leek, celery, like we've got some amazing uh, vegetables, you know, leek, celery, carrots, look at these <coughs> carrots here I picked up, look at this, look. little fringe on them and everything. Bugs Bunny be proud of. And if you don't like the likes of celery, yeah. leave it out, but whatever. Um, exactly, yeah, so fry off some onions, there. so I've got some onions to fry off, so a little bit of um, butter, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do there is what we've done is just make them nice and sweet, okay, so just helps yeah. them on the way. It gives but a great not caramelising them. Not caramelising them, it's a great start to your, to your soup. Okay. Next in, a ground cumin, or I have cumin seeds. So if you have cumin seeds, you don't have the ground cumin, there's no hassle, don't go out and buy, just, just especially for the soup. Okay. So at this stage, you add in your seeds. Are you going to blitz them anyway, so it doesn't matter? Exactly, you're going to blitz them anyway. Um, and what, would, what this do then, this will roast it, and the same again with your, with your, with your cumin, ground cumin, a little, little tiny, um, you know, helping of that. And it's just a background flavour, okay. that's all. It's, like it's a teaspoon. Not, exactly, half a teaspoon. So we're going to, we've, we've sauteed off our um, onions, and a very, very, very simple method. In, into that then, we're going to add some, we've got some diced potatoes as well. Now, we've got some carrots, some leeks, and this is like a soup base. So this would be a soup base for a lot of soups. Even a tomato-based soup, this is getting all your, you know, your flavours in at the very start, your base flavours. And then we're going to spike that with a little bit of honey. Oh, lovely. So I've got like three or four tablespoons of honey. Nice. Okay. Mm. Such a great recipe for children as well, because you're Fantastic. hiding the veg. I know yeah. they say not to, but I'm popping in, in some world, garlic. Some yeah, garlic cloves there. You need to sometimes. Some fresh thyme. The thyme is amazing. With garlic in. A couple exactly. of cloves, is it? A couple of cloves, yep. yeah. And we have some veg stock. Okay. Did you put the garlic in whole, Charlotte? Yeah, cook? no, yeah. put it in whole because you're going to blitz it anyway. You don't, you don't, you don't want, you want that subtle garlic taste, but you don't want it to over, be overpowered. Chicken stock. So in chocolate, veg stock, veg, veg stock. stock. Okay, and then we have then our, we come to the start of the show with a burden of squash. Now you're buying them in the supermarket. We're going to cut it down. There's two two ways you can do it. It depends on your time management. Mm. So if you're under a little bit of pressure, you can just peel and chop it, or if you have a little bit longer, like it takes about 45 minutes to just uh, cut it in half. Scoop out your flesh. Yeah. Mm. Basically, then you're left with this, and then it's just bang into the oven. And okay, you go. yeah, a little bit. I put a little bit of garlic, uh, rapeseed, Wicklow rapeseed oh, oil over that. A little bit of salt and pepper into your oven. Take it out after 40 minutes, and you're left with this here. Okay. I'd yeah. argue that's the easier option if exactly. you're at home. Yeah, exactly. If, if, if you have that yeah. to spare, and then what you do is that's you just soft, pick it up yeah. and you just scrape it into the into yeah. your pot. Yeah. Look at that. Couldn't be any easier. Again, we'll throw in these as well. Meanwhile, these are softening on a moderate heat with the chicken. Exactly, stock, yeah. So, so everything goes into the pot. Lid on, so I'm gonna grab my lid there. Sorry, lid on. How long do you want that on then for? Lid yeah. on, and you're gonna you're gonna bring that to a boil, and then you're gonna simmer it for around 25 minutes. 25 That's minutes, all. exactly, yeah. Um, until everything is nice and soft. Then you're going to blitz it with, your, with a blender or with your hand gun, okay? With a, with okay. a soup gun, okay? And that's it, done. Correct your seasoning, a little bit of salt and pepper, and you're left with this amazing, nice oh, and thick. Oh, and it's now, so good. I met a guy last night, a friend of mine, Peter, and he's allergic to potatoes. I said, he must be the only Irish man oh, in, the, in the world. Yeah. yeah, so it's leave out the spuds, okay? You have plenty, <clears> of, <throat> plenty of uh, squash, load it up again, and that'll, that'll take it for you. In there, bit of torn up in there, even Okay, onto our bread, okay? We have the most amazing bread, four, four ingredients, okay? We've coarse wholemeal flour, we've got some yeast, salt, and we've treacle, and it's just water. That's it, okay? okay. First thing you do is preheat your oven to 200 degrees, yep. and then there's a little technique, I have a little um, loaf tin, Can pound loaf tin. Yep. This side? So we just grease, I have a little bit of oil here, and we're just gonna grease the inside, and then you're going to put a little handful and you're going to oh, tap, tap, it. Flour, you tap it out. Okay? Why are you tapping okay. it? All right. So this is just to make sure that your, your loaf tin comes out easier. Now, the other alternative is to, is to put a baking parchment in there, okay? Yeah. But this is, you have all the ingredients here. It gives the nicer here. shape if exactly, you don't use the Exactly, exactly. So we have our, our wholemeal, coarse wholemeal flour in here. 
what I've done is um, the liter of water, bring it to room temperature a little bit, little bit above room temperature. You need to activate your yeast. Okay. So yeast and treacle in here, and then half, half of your water. How much in yeast here. are we putting in? We're putting in 40 grams of yeast, okay, to, like to one so. liter, like so. Yeah. And what we do then is we can just do the final little tap, and we can see that there, folks. Yep. Okay. Now that's that's, that's your prep done here. Done. So basically, you're adding the wet into the dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got so, our yeast, yeah. our treacle, our and it's very important there. to have the, the, the yeast, uh, the water, tepid or a little bit above room temperature. Activate just to activate yeast, it. Yeah. 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 Like an old uh, Honda 50 on a wet morning. Yeah, you can't get it going, help. you know. Yeah. Needs a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. So again, in we go. And we just fold it in. And then don't forget then we've got half of the water. Half of the water has to go in here again. But this is just giving you a nice base. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you got that, you got that, easy. Yeah, you got that really beautiful um, sort of, you know, what is caramelly smell from yeah, the tree? Gorgeous, is that the best yeah. way to sort of describe coffee. that? Yeah, coffee, you just exactly. um, put in more water there. That's the water. So it's, it is a litre of water. The okay. recipe does require a litre of water. Um, and again, you're bringing all your ingredients now here together. Okay. So you'll know anyway if you need a little bit more. Exactly, it needs exactly. To be moist enough, exactly. But sticky. Exactly. And it just needs to be a little bit over that it's not um, too wet. Okay. So this is perfect here. And then what we do, oven's on. We then combine it all together, and then what we do is we just pop it in here, but just just a little, just to halfway or a little bit under. Then you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes in your hot kitchen to let it rise a small bit. And what will happen is it'll rise to two thirds of the container. Now, if you put too much in and it rises to three quarters, when it's cooking, it's going to overspill, yeah. it's going to destroy it. <coughs> okay. That's it pretty much done. So that's what you need, yeah, leave it for exactly, 15 minutes and exactly. then pop it in the oven. And then you pop it into your oven. Yeah. And what you have then after, um, you, so after a half an hour on 200, you drop it down then to 160 for its last 10 okay. minutes of its journey. Cool. Okay. And you end up with... That, 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 that. Ah. Yes. So, I mean, like these, I call these little bars of gold, okay? And here's Certainly the little yeah. trick here. The sweet little bacon oh. things, Exactly. Think. When you have your, um, when you've lined it properly, okay, yeah. with your oil and with your course, yeah. just literally run your knife along the sides. When it's A little cool. tap. Just cool it for like, say, 10 minutes, yeah. okay? So it's, it's, it's nice to handle. And just pop it out. Look at that. And there you have little oh. bars of gold, okay? Delicious. So what we're going to do next now is I'm going to just uh, a little taste, okay? So yeah. we have our soup bowl here. Again, we've seasoned up, so at the very end, correct your seasoning. It's very, very yeah, important yeah. to correct your seasoning. Uh, finish it off with a little drop of cream, a little bit of creme fraiche. The consistency in that is really lovely. It's we fantastic. Were saying earlier on, that's exactly the way oh, we love soup. Really and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and as yeah. I was saying earlier, like, you know, if, 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 mm. you, if you want to omit the potatoes, just load it up with a bit more torn up, a bit more of the root veg. Um, butternut squash as well is great, like, you know, loads of fiber, it gives, gives fiber in your diet. It also um, beautiful. It all it also is full of uh, potassium. Great for potassium and great for vitamin E or A. Okay. So I'm tuck it in. I'm going in. Divine. I'm going in. And as you can see, then you have to perfectly. Can you get the smell? Can you get the smell? Of, uh, it's good. Like, there's yeah, nothing it? better than that. It's fantastic. Bread. You have that background sort That's of nutty so flavour, yeah. It's such a and good bread. The, so sweet. the cumin as well is a real background yeah, a real sort of a, yeah. And it's a sort of a talking point. You can don't tell your guests there's cumin in and ask yeah, anyone, yeah. anyone catch the spice. And just a quick happy birthday to my sister Ailish as well. Ah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And, and damp day. Oh. 25 today. Yeah. Well, so done, that's, that's the butternut birthday. squash Thanks, uh, honey and thyme well soup Super with recipe. the tre treacle bread. And treacle is really, really simple. Really Any simple recipe. Really simple recipe. Exactly, Thanks yeah. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Thanks for having me and roll on Paris. Hey, hey. <laughs> for full know. recipe details, check out Charlo's new website or it's up on our website mm. too. Remember, so we're now yeah, Ireland you. AM, so check out virginmediatelevision.com forward slash Ireland AM.